Hey everybody, it's Miss Beck, and today we're going to do our math lesson 3.5. Excuse me. And the title of the math lesson is longer or shorter. So we've talked about those words before. When something is longer than something else, it's bigger. Okay. If you line it up, it's actually longer in the length. Okay. And then when it is shorter, then it's smaller. And we know that because when we take two different things and line them up, we can see which one is longer and which one is shorter. So when we line these up side to side, a marker and a pen, we can see that which one is longer, the pen or the marker? That's right, the pen is longer. So the pen is longer than the marker. Can you say that? The pen is longer than the marker. If the pen is longer than the marker, then the marker is shorter. Can you say that? The marker is shorter than the pen. So today we're going to practice with the words longer and shorter, and we're also going to practice with the term sorting. Now remember when Ms. Beck tells you to sort something, that means we're going to put it in groups that have something in common. So in this case, um, our groups are going to be sorted by things that are longer than a marker. So here's our word longer. Or shorter than a marker. So Miss Beck has a basket of items and we are going to line them up with the marker and we're going to see which ones are longer and which ones are shorter. If they're longer, we're going to put them on this tray. This tray is the color yellow. If they're shorter, we're going to put them on this tray. This tray is the color red. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you're ready because our marker is our guiding tool, okay? So the marker and the pen, let's line it up. Is the marker and the pen, is the pen longer or shorter than the marker? Ding, 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 that's right, it's longer. So we're gonna put it on our yellow tray. The pen is longer than the marker, okay? Mmm, a tablet. Now take a guess, do you think a tablet is shorter or longer than a marker? Well, there's only one way to find out, line it up. Very important that you line it up edge to edge. So the tablet, is it shorter or longer? Ding, 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 that's right, it's longer. So it's going on the yellow one. Ooh, I have two things on my yellow. All right, let's see what we have next. A pencil. Oh, this one has jack-o'-lanterns on it. Do you think a pencil is longer or shorter than a marker? Let's see, we gotta line it up. Oh my goodness, it's just a little bit longer. So I need to put it on which tray, the yellow one or the red one? Do you remember? That's right, I need to put it on the yellow one. Now, before I put it on the yellow one, I wonder which one is longer, the pen or the marker? I mean, the pen or the pencil? Oh my goodness, it's hard to see. The pencil is just a little bit longer. Oh my goodness, I have three things on my longer tray. How many things to have on my shorter tray? Zero. Uh-oh, gotta find some more stuff, right? Okay, we all know what this is. What is this? Oh, this is some lovely hand sanitizer. Cleans and kills 99.9% .9 of germs. That means almost all the germs. Do we think this is longer or shorter than the marker? Let's line it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's equal. I wasn't even thinking about having any that were equal. This is an equal length. I better go get another tray. Oh, Miss Beck, I can't believe it. Equal. I didn't even know that 
numbers look equal. They're the same length. When something is the same length, that means it is equal. Just like the same number, the same length is equal. So my equal tray is the color blue. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know I needed an equal tray. Well, that's fun. Okay. Surely I have some small things in here. Are you guys ready? Ooh, a glue stick. Now this is a big glue stick. This is a jumbo glue stick. Let's line it up. Is the glue stick longer or shorter than the marker? Ding, ding, ding. That's right, it's shorter. We got our first shorter object. So we're gonna put it on a red tray right here. Okay, friends. Mm. Fork. What do you use a fork for? That's right, you use it to eat. Do you think it's longer or shorter than the marker? Line it up. It's longer. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh. Does anybody know what this is? This is a magnifying glass slide that goes under a microscope. Do you think it's longer or shorter than the marker? Oh my goodness, that's so easy. It is way shorter. Ding, ding, ding. All right, friends. Oh, this one's super easy. What is this called? It measures our temperature. It's called a thermometer. Can we all say thermometer? A thermometer measures how hot or cold it is in a room or outside. It says right now it's about 74 degrees in here. So that's okay. And that's measured in Fahrenheit, okay? So is the thermometer longer or shorter than the marker? Oh my goodness, it's way longer, way, 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 way longer. Okay, friends, here we go. It's a llama bean, llama seed, llama bean. Is it longer or shorter? Definitely shorter. We got another shorter, friends. Crayon or marker, which one is longer, which one is shorter? The crayon is shorter, ding, ding, ding. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. I've got a slide, that's one shorter. A lima bean, that's two. A crayon, that's three. And a glue stick, that's four. I've got four shorter objects. Now look, I've got a thermometer, that's one a fork, that's two, a tablet, that's three, a pencil and a pen, that's four and five. So, so far, my longer group is more. And do you remember which one was equal? That lovely hand sanitizer was equal. Okay, now, Miss Beck has a popsicle stick. Is the popsicle stick longer or shorter than the marker? When we line it up, we see that it is shorter. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Shorter is five and longer is five. Now we've got equal numbers. That's awesome. Okay, I've got one more thing. You guys know what this is? This is a handy dandy sensory bottle. It has rice and buttons of all different sizes and colors. And when you shake it, it makes a lot of noise. Shake it, shake it, shake it now, shake it. Okay, friends, I bet you know the answer to this. Is it longer or shorter than the market? Marker, marker. That's right, it's longer. Boys and girls, you did an excellent job. Kiss your brain. Okay, so we said when we um, are measuring things, we have to line them up to see which one is longer and which one is shorter. 
So we're gonna review the things that were longer than the marker and let's count and see if we can see how many there were. Okay, so these were the things that were longer. Sensory bottle, one. Tablet, two. Count with me, thermometer, three. Pen, four. Pencil, five. And fork, six. Six things were longer. I'm gonna write a nice number six on here. Six, rolls a loop. Six objects were longer than the marker. Now let's go to our shorter tray. Do you remember what color that was? That's right, it was red. Okay, popsicle stick, one. Count with me, glue stick, two. Lima bean, three. Crayon, four. Slide, five. So five objects were shorter than the marker. Down, a tummy, and a hat on top. Fat, old, five. So five objects were shorter and six objects were longer. Which number is bigger, more, six or five? Six. When you count, six is the bigger number. Which number is less, six or five? Five. Five is less than six, five. Sorry, I put that the wrong way. All right, and we can't forget our dear friend equal because we did find one object was equal to the marker. Equal number means the same number. Equal length means the same length. The hand sanitizer's length was equal to that of the marker. And we had one object that was equal. You guys wrote a nice number one in your number book yesterday. One is fun. One is fun. Okay, boys and girls, before I leave you today, I do wanna to talk to you about that number book because we're gonna continue working in our number book. So um, hopefully you listened to the directions and the directions were to form the numbers in the number book and then to draw one object on the number one. So you can see here we have one cookie, okay? Then, you were to do the number two, and you were to draw two objects in the number two box. Right here, we have two eggs, one, two. So today, boys and girls, you're gonna do the number three, and you're gonna draw three objects. Then you're gonna do the number four, and you're gonna draw four objects. Now, this is my dear friend's Ava's paper, and I don't think she'll mind if I write a three, and then I write a four. So let me go ahead and write the three. Around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. I can also draw that in the air. You wanna draw it with me? Around a tree, around a tree. That's the way we make a three. So very, very important that we start our numbers at the dot, okay? See where that dot is? And they need to sit on the top and the bottom line. Very, very important. Take your time, just like with your letters, writing your numbers, okay? And then you're gonna draw three things in the box. Now, after you do the number three, you are gonna turn and do the number four. All right, down, across, and down once more. That's the way we make a four. Can you guys do that with me? Down, across, and down once more. That's the way we make a four. You'll notice on this paper, it's got two arrows, two starting points. It needs to touch the top and the bottom line, and you need to draw it so that um, it's nice and neat and legible. Just like letters, numbers are important to be read. If you write numbers messy, then 
somebody might not know the right number that you're writing, okay? So um, for example, if you're baking a cake and it said to put three eggs, you wouldn't wanna make a mistake and write something like six, okay? Or you wouldn't wanna make a messy number um, three and then somebody not be able to read it, okay? Boys and girls, that's all I have for you and I'll see you later, bye.